Lesson 28 homework. Number one, Mrs. Rice needs to replace the 166 and 25 hundredths foot of edging on the flower beds in his backyard. The edging is sold in lengths of 19 feet each. How many lengths of edging will Mr. Rice need to purchase? So he needs 166 and 25 hundredths feet, and they're sold in 19 foot lengths. So let's figure out how many he would need by dividing. 166 and 25 hundredths divided by 19. 19 can't go into 1 and it can't go into 16, but it could go into 166. Let's see, 19 times 10 would be 190, so probably 8 or 9 times. Let's try 8. 19 times 8, so 9 times 8 is 72, carry the 7. 8 times 1 is 8 plus 7 would be 15, so 152. If I added 19 to that, it would be too big. So it could go in eight times. We subtract and get 14. I'm gonna bring my decimal point straight up into the answer and bring down the two. So 19 could go into 142. Well, 19 times eight was 152, so it can probably go in seven times. Let's see what 19 times seven is. 63. So it's 133. We subtract and get 9. And then we need to bring down the 5. So how many times could 19 go into 95? Well, 19 times 7 is 133. 6 wouldn't be small, would be still be too big. So let's try 19 times 5. And it is 95. So we get 8 and 75 hundredths. He's going to need 8 and 75 hundredths lengths. But you can't buy 8 and 75 hundredths lengths. You can't buy 3 fourths of that at the uh, hardware store or wherever he's going to buy these. So he's going to need to buy 9 lengths because 8 wouldn't be enough. Number two, Olivia is making granola bars. She will use 17 and 9 ounces of pistachios, 12 and 6 tenths ounces of almonds, 12 and 5 tenths ounces of walnuts, and 12 and 5 tenths ounces of cashews. This amount makes 25 bars. How many ounces of nuts are in each granola bar? Well, first, what I'm going to do is add all of the different types of nuts and see how much we have all together. Then we can divide by 25 to figure out how many are in each bar. So we have, I'm going to start with 12 and 5 tenths plus 12 and 5 tenths. Is 25 plus 12 and 6 tenths. 37 and 6 tenths plus 17 and 9 tenths. would be 55 and 5 tenths ounces is how much she has total. So now let's divide by 25. Bring the decimal point straight up. 55 or 25 can't go into 5, but it could go into 55 twice. subtract and get 50 and bring down the 5. It can't go into 25, can go into 55 again twice. I'm going to put a 0 here and bring down the 0 and keep going. 25 can go into 50 twice. That is 50. So we get 2 and 22 hundredths ounces in each bar. Number three, Adam has 16 and 45 hundredths kilograms of flour and he uses 6 and 4 tenths kilograms to make hot cross buns. The remaining flour is exactly enough to make 15 batches of scones. How much flour in kilograms will be in each batch of scones? So he has this much flour and he uses 6 and 4 tenths to make hot cross buns. We want to know how much is left for the scones. So we're going to subtract. And 
going to put a zero there to make it easier to see. And we get 10 and 5 hundredths. That's what's left for the scones. So we need to divide that by 15, figure out how much is in each of the scones. Bring the decimal point straight up. 15 can't go into 1 or 10, but it could go into 100. Let's try, I know 15 times 5 is 75, so 15 times 7 might be too big. Yeah, that's going to be 105, so it could go in 6 times. That's 90. And when we bring down the 5, it makes it 105. But that's helpful because we already did this problem. 15 times 7 was 105, so it can go in 7 times. And so our answer is 67 hundredths. Uh, what was our... in kilograms. In each scone. Well, to each batch of scones. Number four, there are 90 fifth grade students going on a field trip. Each student gives the, dollar, the teacher $9.25 to cover admission to the theater and for lunch. Admission for all the students costs $315, and each student will get an equal amount to spend on lunch. How much will each fifth grader get to spend on lunch? So first of all, there's figure out how much money they the teacher was going is going to get so 90 and students and each student gives nine dollars and 25 cents so let's do nine dollars and 25 cents times 90. now remember we're going to pretend this is 925 by multiplying it by 100 and then we'll divide by 100 at the end to get back to where we started so zero times five is zero zero times two is zero and zero times nine is zero put our zero down on to the 9. 9 times 5 is 45. 9 times 2 is 18 plus 4 is 22. And 9 times 9 is 81 plus 2 is 83. So if we add that together, we get 83,250. But we need to divide that by 100. So the teacher has $832.50 total. And the admission is going to cost $315. So let's do, let's subtract that out so we can figure out how much she was going to have left for the lunch. So we have $517.50 for lunch, and we need to split that between the 90 students. So 90 can't go into 5 or 51, but it could go into 517. Let's see, 90 times, we can think of 9 times, 5 is 450. 90 times 6 would be 9 times 6 is 54, so 540. So that's too big. So it can go in 5 times. We subtract and get 67. Bring down the 5. Let's see. What's 90 times 7? That would be 630. I'll bring my decimal point straight up. So we can go in seven times. And bring down the zero. 450. How many times can 90 go into 450? Well, five times. There's no remainder, nothing left to bring down. So each student's going to get five dollars and seventy five cents to spend on lunch number five ben is making math manipulatives to sell he wants to make at least four hundred fifty dollars each manipulative cost eighteen dollars to make he's selling them for thirty dollars each what's the minimum number he can sell to reach his goal so 
first we need to figure out what his profit is on each one. So he's selling them for $30, but it costs him $18 to make them. So on each one, he's really only making $12 on each manipulative. So how much how many would he have to make to make $450? Let's see. So 12 can't go into 4, but it could go into 45 three times. That's 36. 45 minus 36 would be 9. Bring down the 0. 12 can go in 90. Let's see. You know, 12 times 8 is... Ninety-six, so that's too big. So probably twelve times seven is eighty-four. We get six as a remainder, but we don't want to have a remainder. So I'm going to put my decimal point up here and there, and add a zero, bring that zero down, and keep going. Twelve can go into sixty five times because twelve times five is sixty, and then. Now we don't have a remainder. So he would need to make 37 and a half um, manipulatives. But again, you can't make half of a manipulative. So he would have to make 38 manipulatives in order to reach his goal.